Hello, young designers. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your Onshape for Education account so that you can get started in exploring Onshape and 3D modeling on your own. Now, the Education account is really cool because you get your own cloud server, so you can save all your work inside Onshape. You never have to lose it, and you can access it anywhere you want. So, first of all, to get to this website, there is a QR code on the screen right now. Just scan that with your iPad. Today, we'll be using the iPad to sign in. However, before we get started, before I click this Create Account button right here, I just need to stress the fact that you are using Google Chrome, your web browser, on the iPad. You are not downloading the Onshape app in the App Store. Do not download that because for the future tutorials that you can follow on my YouTube channel, I will be using the Chrome browser. The reason for that is because if you use Google Chrome and then Onshape as the website while you're building your 3D, you can basically use Onshape on any device. You don't need to have an iPad. You can even do Onshape on your phone, though arguably it's really, really difficult. So scan the QR code and then you'll be taken to this page and we'll continue with the setup. Okay, so you're at the website. You should be seeing on shape for education. All you have to do is click this create pre account button and it will bring you to this form. Now you have to fill out this form. I'd like you to take your time and watch how I fill out the form. There are a couple things you need to take note of. So please pause the video at each step if you need to. So I'm going to type in my name right here, first name. I actually have my autofill enabled, but I'll type it. And your last name. Then you put in your school email address. I'm going to type in my school email address, but I already have an account, but I'll just show you for example. kale.his.edu.my. Double check, make sure that you've typed in your school email correctly. Are you a student or educator? You choose student. And what is your school level? You choose grade school, grade school K to 12. Check the box and then go ahead and create an EDU account. Once you click the green button, you'll be brought to this form. So now in this form, we need to put our school name. So type in help international school. Make sure the capitals are in the right spot. Full capitals for help, capital I and capital S right there. You'll get a green check mark when that's done. The school website URL is www.his.edu the city, uh, you can just put Petaling Jaya or Shah Alam. It doesn't really matter. In this case, just put Petaling Jaya. Make sure that you're getting green check marks while you're doing these. State, we are in Selangor. Country, we are in Malaysia. I'm going to type MA while this is open and it would jump to Malaysia. M A L. And then just scroll down. There it is. Graduation year. Now, this is important. Um, Onchip wanted to check that you are not too young for the program. So when you choose the graduation year, choose 2023. It doesn't matter when you're graduating, just choose 2023. And what are you going to use Onshape for? Student work. So the last thing you got to do is check these boxes. If you see I am not a robot, you can click this. You might have to click the pictures or you might have two-factor authentication. So it will send a message to your phone. Um, if you have that set up in your, your Google. And then when you're done with that, you can say create account and it should send you an email to your school Gmail account. We are sending an activation email to you now. And once you see this icon with the green on shape logo, there's no red, there's an error, hop on over to your email and then click the link in the email. So the email will look like this in your Gmail. So you just click the activate account and it will ask you to make a password. Make sure you choose a password you won't forget. And also make sure that you're following the requirements. Check the box when you're done with your password and then get started. Okay, so it's opened up on shape and you'll be greeted with this box here asking you to set your default units. So the only thing we need to change here is we're going to change the length to millimeter. It's just easier, but you can always change this while you're inside on shape and your 3D modeling. So I'm going to click next for that. I'm just going to click next for the default. My nickname, I'm going to keep it as my name. You can even upload a picture right here. 
please use your school name as an ISAMS. This just helps the teachers when you're using Onshape. We can see what you're doing by your name. Got to click next. So it's checking my browser. Everything looks good. And then click done. So there you go. We're inside Onshape right now. As you can see, we can create a document. Give it a title. Uh, let's say F1 car for my year nine. We do a lot of on shape car modeling. And then give it a moment and it will load into your 3D modeling workspace. If you've got it to this point, congrats. You've got on shape and you're ready to follow on with the rest of my YouTube lessons. Looking forward to seeing what you create in the 3D space. Thanks for watching.